Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. I'm on the Wisconsin River again, waiting for a giant gato fish bite. But while I'm waiting, I wanted to touch on something that I mentioned in the last stream. You know, like, the assets under attack right now don't seem to be limited to crypto. It does seem like the powers that be are basically coordinating to try to push us back into the US dollar. The DXY has been rising like crazy. Now, that's not strange because both the British pound and the euro have been falling like crazy because of the Russian war. But what doesn't make sense is even though crypto is falling, gold is falling as well. And this with inflation being extremely high. Generally, when inflation is really high, assets like gold, silver, etc. rise because they are stores of value. Gold especially has been a store of value for humanity for million, uh, well, not millions of years, but tens of thousands of years or thousands of years at least, depending on which line of history you subscribe to. So it doesn't really make any sense right now that gold value is actually dropping while inflation is really high. Gold for anything should be above like $2,000 or $2,500, but yet it's $1,640, substantially down from the $1,800 we were at earlier, and as are all other precious metals. Now, gold and silver and commodities like that are actually controlled by centralized entities in gold's uh, in case it's like London CME in Silver's case, JP Morgan controls a lot of it. But it does seem like these big institutions are having like a coordinated attack along with the, um, the US government to push everyone back into fiat. Because even though inflation is high, the US dollar is doing far better than pretty much any other asset out there. You look at Bitcoin crypto, it's falling like crazy. You look at gold, silver, it's falling like crazy. You look at the stock market, it's falling like crazy. You know, like, realistically, in this kind of case, people would be going for solid assets. And you might actually experience a problem of deflation as people try to get onto uh, solid assets to instead of the U.S. dollar. But it might be a coordinated attack because they don't want people coming out of the U.S. dollar. They want to buffer its status as the reserve currency, and they want to make people more dependent on the U.S. dollar right now. So what do they do? They tell these big institutions to basically manipulate the price I, um, not only of cryptocurrency, but of gold and silver, which are actually bigger markets. The commodities markets kind of suck right now as well. When people see everything dipping and uh, everything dropping against the dollar, they will flow back into the U.S. dollar, which makes the U.S. dollar more dominant and ensures its place as the international currency, international asset of trade. Because essentially, you don't really have any other choice right now except to get any doll except to get dollars if you want to actually save your money. Because right now, if you look at it, everything is going down except for the dollar. So I do think this is kind of a coordinated effort between like the big banks, the financial interests, and maybe even other world governments to push the U.S. dollar uh, and to solidify it as the international reserve currency as every other currency essentially goes down and all the other assets are manipulated down. Because a lot of these hard assets should actually be going up. And the only real explanation I can see is that there's manipulation and basically they're not allowing them to go up to bolster the US dollar itself. So that's uh, kind of like my theory. Let me know what you think, like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.